Moto offers an impressive collection of UV tools and functions that make the UV mapping process quick and easy. Let's take a quick look at some of them. I'll start by setting up my workspace by opening the UV viewport and UV toolbar. If a UV map isn't available to work with, we can simply add a new map in the Vertex Maps tab. To unwrap this head mesh, I'll select the edges that'll define my UV seams. It's good to know that any open edges will automatically be considered a UV seam, so there's no need to select them. The Unwrap tool enables you to quickly create UVs by simply left-clicking and dragging to increase the iterations. The UV Relax tool lets you continue the unwrapping process with the addition of interactive pins that can give you more control. To create pins, activate the Interactive option and then left-click on the verts where you'd like to place the pins. Once the pins are in place, increase the iterations and adjust the pins to your liking. Since this is a symmetrical mesh, I'll take advantage of the Symmetrize UV option to make both sides of the head identical. One of my favorite things about UVing in Moto is that I have access to all of my non-UV specific tools when UV mapping. For example, I can use Radial Falloff with a Scale tool to further refine my UVs. To UV this simple coil mesh, make sure a UV map is selected, then select the edges where you'd like the seams to be, and unwrap the mesh. If we enable the Show Distortion option, we'll see that these are not ideal UVs. Select all the polygons except the end caps and use the Rectangle command to clean up the distortion. Be sure to explore all of the UV options available in Moto to take advantage of all that is offered.